What is going on, everyone? Jeremy here, Unsleeved Media, bringing the uh, release of the latest Magic the Gathering product, and that is Unstable. Uh, for those of you that don't play Magic, this is not a standard legal set. It's a joke set. A set that Magic players uh, have long been asking for, and one that nobody wanted. Uh, the first two Unsets, Unhinged and Unglued, ended up having to be liquidated because most Magic players want to play the game with cards that they can play in their standard decks. These cards are silver bordered and thus not uh, tournament legal. There are some cards that are um, legal in other formats, but in general, um, it's not for anything but fun. For drafting, sometimes people can put it in a cube, or you can play two-headed giant, or um, you know they can sort of do constructed. But again, um, it's just about having fun. Uh, the way they're going to hopefully sell this set is to uh, put really pretty lands in it really pretty foil versions of the lands in it. That's what's going to drive the opening. Now, the old sets have cards like Richard Garfield PhD, the foil version. I actually opened that early on the channel. That's worth a lot of money. Uh, this set, mm, it's hard to say if anything will end up being like that in the long term. But what I want to look at is, did they fix the card quality? And uh, what do these things look like up close and personal? Now, there's going to be events, events I can no longer attend due to a little kerfuffle between Wizards of the Coast and myself going on this weekend. And regardless, as I've always said, I highly recommend supporting your local game store. Now, if you choose to not buy Unstable in solidarity or because you just want to make a good financial decision, uh, that's up to you. But if you were going to buy Unstable and now you're not, uh, consider going to your local game store and getting something uh, like a living card game or a deck builder game or Hero Realms or Star Realms or something like that for the price of a booster box of cards that will not be standard playable. You can get a game that you can play whenever you want. But... Um, I can't ignore the promise I made uh, to the subscribers of this channel, and I will continue to cover Magic the Gathering, banned or not banned. Why? Because I won't let them get me out of the game. So we're just going to kind of look at some of the fun cards. We have these contraptions that end up getting um, put together. And... What I really want to just look at is the lands, and you know, I will say the print quality is pretty good. Uh, the The stock feels good. I've been fooled before, so I'm interested in what you might say. Here we have the island. And we have the... Now they do have some rarity in here, because, well, why not? Rapid Prototyper. Whenever you crank X... Whenever you crank rapid prototyper, create X colorless construct artifact creature tokens where X is the number of artifacts you control. Very powerful. And so you can see it is the new style of card. That should make the draft pretty fun. And then we have Headbanger. And another thing they're doing to sell the set is a foil token. Foil beast token. Pretty nice. So it, well, they were kind of smart to include these sorts of things so people could, you know, uh, have some reason. You know, the foil lands are going to be uh, pretty sought after. Again, this looks pretty good. Cardstock, it's still pretty thin, but we'll have to wait and see on the foils too. Oh, do we have a rare in this pack? Yeah, we actually had the other... Yeah, so we had Serpentine. This is a 3-3. Three, three, whatever, And then we don't have the other half right now. But we have a Foil Elemental Token. 
Not a bad idea for Wizards of the Coast. The foil full arts of this, I think people will wrongly assume will be worth a fortune because mass box openers will just open up this set. Here's half squirrel, half rabbit, I believe, right? Hydra Doodle. Beautiful mountain. John Avon, man. He just gets it. We have Dispatch Discrepancy, Top Secret Tunnel, and a Foil Goat Token. This looks beautiful, too. Wizards knew that they had to put something in this set that would sell it. Um, because most of us will draft it once or twice, like I will. I have a second box that I will draft with my friends uh, this weekend. Imagine that. I'm banned and I can still play Magic. Uh, but, oh, God, these lands are so good. And we have BB Gun, Mythic Rarity. Whenever you crank BB Gun, until end of turn, target creature gains pay two. This creature fights another target creature. Oh, that's powerful. Auto key. And a foil clue token. Smart, smart, smart. Smart wizards. Uh, that I think the foil tokens, depending on their print run, will help uh, the set maintain its value long term. Here we have a Hydra Doodle as our rare. We have a Plains. So far, one of each Hypnotic Swirly Disc. <laughs> Dictation Quillograph. Okay, so we have two contraptions in each pack. And then a Foil Zombie Token. Uh, it makes sense that they went with this because that is what their Friday Night Magic promos have become. By no means. Oh, God, these lines are so good. What they should do? Infiltration station. Like, if you just go to, like, a spoiler website. Nice vampire token. And you just... Here's, like, 90% 90, 90 of the fun of an unset after you've played it once. Just go look and read the spoilers and just read the cards. Because they're, they're, they're funny. They're not as funny as they used to be, in my opinion. But maybe my sense of humor is just older. I mean, I am an old lump of coal. lands i just want a foil i just want those foil full art these i i oh this is a nice thopter token um these i believe very strongly will be the new at least in the very short term they will be highly sought after not the basics because you'll be able don't buy a box for the basics you can go buy all the box all the basics you want on ebay Here's Jack Knight. 1-1. One, one. Whenever another artifact creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Jack Knight. If that artifact is a contraption, Jack Knight gains a lifelink till end of turn. Very powerful. And a spirit foil spirit token. So somebody made a good decision with these. Because like box crackers, like me and some of you, can just open these up and draft... Oh. Oh, I thought that was a foil uh, land, but that looks great. If if that gets left hanging. <laughs> Split screen, forest. And a foil angel. Some of these foil uh, tokens will be spendy, I, I assume. Ooh, that's a nice elemental. Got a lot of edged wear, though. That's not good. Uh, you probably won't be able to see it because the way I have the camera focused. But there's a good amount of edge wear right out of the pack. That's really nitpicky, though. Uh, I would. I don't want to say it's, quote, fixed because I got fooled um, with Iconic Masters. But <laughs> it's zombified. These are, like, cards you put together, you know? Old Buzzbark. A 3-3 three, three, when it enters the battlefield. Roll X six-sided dice onto the battlefield from a height of at least X inches. For each die, put a number of 1-1 one, one counters equal to the result of each creature you control that die is touching. <laughs> For, see, that's why, uh, you know, these joke sets are fun. You get just a different type of, of gameplay that is only available in an unset. And... I don't think it would be a bad idea. You know, don't overpay for this set. 
uh, the last two on sets at one point were selling for fifty or sixty dollars uh, a box. Now you were not going to get this set for that, but you know, don't definitely don't pay more than a hundred dollars a box in my opinion. Uh, don't want that. You're just not. There's not enough value in here unless you just really value being able to draft at home. Otherwise, just wait and pick up your sets of these basics. Wait like two or three weeks until the set has really been opened, and then. And then go pick up your basics. Don't buy them right now. Just wait. Wait a month. And you'll get them cheap. Because people that actually draft the set. Capital offense. Sometimes these foil versions hold some value if they're played in cubes and things like that or collectible. God, those lands are so nice. Foil token in every pack. So that will appeal to casuals. But again eBay, TCG Player, they will be your friend with these basics. Don't buy a box for these basics. These basics will sell for, at one point in the near future, 25 or 50 cents each. That's my opinion. To be honest, Wizards should probably just have sold a commemorative land set of these and foil lands available. Sold them for like 50 bucks for people that just want the lands. I mean, if they're going to put the local game store free starter decks in Walmart for, and charge $10 for them, I mean, why wouldn't they sell these too? Skill Saucer. <laughs> Mario Kill. Uh, it's funny, like, you know, it's a kill bot, but, like, they didn't have Boff. Here's a foil rare. Ineffable Blessing. Two mana. As ineffable blessing enters the battlefield, choose a rarity. Whenever a creature with chosen rarity enters the battlefield, under your control, draw a card. That's very strong. Ooh, that's cool. I bet you that'll be something people really want. Foil gnome tokens. I don't know if there's anything else that produces gnomes, is there? Come on. Ooh, another gnome. No, it's not. Just going to kind of look at what foils we got. Give me five. Three headed goblin. That one's fun with triple strike. So you get like fun mechanics like that that just aren't anywhere else. Ooh, that's a beautiful construct token. That's cool. Looks good. The foils look good. The edges look good. The stock looks good. I'll follow up with you in a few days. I'll leave these down here in the basement and we'll see how everything of a jig. <laughs> we'll see how they. Um, a third construct token in a row. I don't care. Smart, smart, smart. I still think Watsi should have went a third. They should have tripled down. Monster Masher. And put a uh, foil split screen. Foil Goblin token. These look great. Don't like that. I guess, though. Um, they should have tripled down, in my opinion, and put Expeditions in this set, too. Why not? Have some crazy... You know, there is alt art in here, sure. But to add that third... Oh, Brainiac token. That's pretty cool. Um, to add that extra layer... A value could have kept the, could have kept these boxes selling for a uh, hundred bucks to people who are cracking packs, and could have helped the local game stores out right now at a time they could really use it. Dictation Quillograph foil and a rogue token. I like that there seems to be a good amount of tokens variety, so you're not just getting piles of the same one. Forest. These borders look be freaking beautiful in foil. Oh, that looks good. That dragon token looks so good. Really nice job, uh, Wizards of the Coast, on this one. Your PR department sucks ass, but... Finders Keepers, a Swamp. Oh, Foil Storm Crow token! Now that... That's what I'm talking about.
Let's see sacrifice play water market planes and a squirrel foil squirrel token. Why do I keep saying foil? They're all foil, you dum dum. People are gonna like that squirrel token. I think these I think these foil tokens might be worth keeping around. Mountain foil goblin. And they they seem to be kind of in that lighthearted uh unstable art. Fairy spy. Come on, just give me that one one foil full art land. Just going right to the foils now. Foil goat. Bah. And then see what a lot of people will do, and that's what I'll do, is I'll put these back in some sealed packs. And I'll just be able to make this into a little un, um, unstable cube, basically. And get a lot of replay out of it. A lot of times you take a box or two, build your own little cube with this. A lot of ways to keep enjoying cards without continually buying more packs. And it's great because, you know, we can buy less packs from Wizards. Um, you know, ooh, a foil clue token. That's nice. I said it again. Yes, they're all foil. Give me that foil land. Rogue. This looks great. That border looks great in foil. Last four packs. Hey, let me know down in the comment section down below if you're going to be playing any Unstable. Um, or if you're going to be skipping it, what you might be doing this weekend instead. Gotta love that Storm Crow. And again, remember, buying packs is the biggest waste of money unless you're going to draft or play with them. Play sealed or something. If you're going to play, try to be smart with your money and buy singles. Unless you just gotta buy packs. Unless you just gotta buy packs, then who am I to tell you how to spend your money? <laughs> I mean, I'm not even allowed to play Magic. Last two packs, give me that foil full art. I do like that I have all these tokens out of this. It makes it feel less bad. Hey, if you're new to the channel, um, you know I cover more than Magic the Gathering. I cover a lot of card games, deck building games, gaming and tabletop gaming in general. Um, and I'm going to be covering more, uh, we did not get a foil full, uh, we did not get a foil land in here at all. Um, now Mark Rosewater said that they would be the same drop rate as other foil lands, but we did not find one in the entire box. So maybe let me know what your drop rate on those foil lands are, because that could be something worth investing in if they're ultra rare too. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it distracts you for a little bit and, uh, we'll get back to fighting the fight tomorrow. Talk to you again real soon.